Hey guys, Mo here, and today I want to take a look at running Zoom on the Raspberry Pi. Because of its small footprint, affordability, and energy efficiency, the Raspberry Pi makes a great desktop computer for students as well as a simple work-from-home desktop. You can easily mount it behind a monitor or behind a TV so you can transform pretty much any screen into a computer on the cheap. And Zoom runs really well on the Raspberry Pi because you can just fire up the Zoom web app. And so it's pretty simple to use the Raspberry Pi for video conferencing. So let's go ahead and get started. And before you get started, there are just a few things that you'll need to do. And that's make sure that you have all of your peripherals hooked up. So you'll need to make sure that you've got a webcam connected to the Raspberry Pi. You'll need to have a microphone hooked up. And you'll also need some kind of audio device, such as a pair of speakers or a headset. And you could even use a headset with a built-in microphone to simplify your setup a little bit. So once you've got all your devices hooked up, go ahead and fire up your web browser. And in your web browser, head to join.zoom.us. And now simply enter your meeting ID or a personal link name. And once you've done that, go ahead and hit join. And you'll be prompted to install from the Chrome Web Store. But instead of using Zoom from Chrome, go ahead and just fire up the web app version by hitting join from your browser. So just select that. And then you'll be asked about using your microphone and camera and select allow. And there we go. Now we are successfully connected to Zoom. And as you can see, it's working really well and it's super easy to get started with. This takes almost no resources. And so it's a pretty cost effective way to get started with video conferencing. All right, guys, there you have it. That's how to use Zoom on the Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, it's really simple to do. So ultimately, I think the Pi is a really awesome little device for working from home. And being able to use it for video conferencing just makes it that much better. One thing I like to do is oftentimes hook up my Raspberry Pi to my TV for video conferencing on the big screen. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to give your life a tech up.